The combat vehicle reconnaissance trapped or shortly CVRT is one of the best air deployed armored vehicle families ever created. It is low cost, easy to produce, versatile, lightweight and effective. Even though the members of this family are now obsolete, they are still fighting in the current conflicts. Today we are investigating the CVRT, a brilliant achievement in British armored vehicle history. The CVRT is a cleverly designed armored vehicle family. It was a shiny achievement for the British defense industry when it was created. On the other hand, it emerged when the sun set on the British Empire. Its simplicity and versatility have made it perfect for specific missions. The story of the CVRT goes back to 1956. When the UK, alongside France and Israel, attempted to recapture the Suez Canal this year, London could not resist the threats of Washington and Moscow. Even though the Allies won the battle, they lost the war. Besides, decolonization had already begun. These facts reveal that the British Empire was no longer a superpower. Yet, the UK still had overseas territories and military obligations. In the early 1960s, London realized that having a garrison in many regions of the world to fulfill its commitments was an overwhelming burden for the budget. Therefore, the British Armed Forces adopted a new concept, forming new units with high strategic air mobility. This change required two elements, a new military transport aircraft and new armored vehicles. The first step, the works on the Armstrong Whitworth AW681 did not go well. The project was cancelled in 1965. On the other hand, the UK, which had also needed a replacement for the Saladin armored car, steadfastly continued the second step. After studying many proposals, the Fighting Vehicles Research and Development Establishment decided that two vehicles, one tracked and the other wheeled, would be required for the new concept. They would use the same components, including petrol engine, as possible. In 1967, the UK awarded Alvis a contract to build 17 prototypes. The program did not experience delay and cost overruns. The first prototype was completed in 1969. All 17 prototypes were delivered to the British Army within the year. They underwent extensive hot and cold weather trials in Norway, Australia, Canada and Abu Dhabi. The UK ordered the new truck vehicle family called CVRT in 1970. In the same year, Belgium became the first export customer. The fire support variant of the CVRT was the FV-101 Scorpion. Besides, the works on the wheeled variant of the program, CVRW progressed right on schedule. The British Army took the FV-101 into service in 1972. In 1979, the Royal Air Force Regiment also ordered the CVRT family vehicles for the airfield defense missions in Germany. The delivery began in 1981. The CVRT, especially Scorpion, had a remarkable export success. Until the production ceased in 1996, over 3,500 vehicles had been manufactured. The hull of the CVRT is made of all welded aluminum alloy armor, resistant against 14.5mm projectiles at the front and 7.62mm armor piercing rounds over the remainder of the vehicle. This material was selected to reduce weight. However, it was seen that aluminum alloys suffered from stress corrosion cracking over time. The CVRN protection system is optional. If not installed, the Scorpion can carry an additional 576mm rounds. The driver's single wide-angle day periscope can be replaced by a passive periscope for night driving. Thanks to its low 0.36kg per square centimeter ground pressure, the Scorpion offers excellent cross-country mobility on soft and wet soil. Thanks to the flotation screen, which is carried collapsed around the top of the hull and can be erected by the crew in 5 minutes, the Scorpion can swim with a speed of 6.5 km per hour. A C-130 transport aircraft can carry two of them. The Scorpion 76mm L-23 main gun has a vertical sliding breech and is returned to the firing position by a hydropneumatic recuperator. Its recoil is approximately 280mm. 
the elevation depression angles of the L23 are between minus 10 and plus 35 degrees. The turret traverse is 360 degrees. Elevation and traverse are both manual. The Scorpion typically carries 476mm rounds and is not designed against main battle tanks. Its gun is against infantry, fortifications and unarmored or lightly armored vehicles. The CVRT family has the FV-102 Striker variant for anti-tank missions. Botswana, Brunei, Chile, Honduras, Indonesia, Iran, Latvia, Malaysia, Nigeria, Oman, the Philippines, Tanzania, Thailand, Togo, Ukraine, the United Arab Emirates and Venezuela are the current operators of the CVRT family. Belgium, Iraq, Ireland, Jordan, Kuwait, New Zealand, Spain and the United Kingdom retired the vehicle. The crew of the FV-101 Scorpion is three people, a commander, gunner and driver. The vehicle is about 4.79 meters long, 2.24 meters wide and 2.1 meters high. Its combat weight is over 8,070 kilograms. The 190 horsepower Jaguar J60 No. 1 Mark 100B petrol engine provides a maximum speed of 80.5 km per hour. The range of the vehicle is nearly 645 km. The FV-101 can negotiate 0.5 meter vertical steps and 2.06 meter trenches. It can be fought to a depth of 1.07 meters. The Scorpion has one 76mm L23 main gun and one 7.62mm L43A1 coaxial machine gun. The Scorpion 90 has the 90mm Kukril Mark III gun with elevation depression angles between minus 8 and plus 30 degrees. This variant with an 8723 kg combat weight carries 34 rounds. The Sabre is a Scorpion version fitted with the two-man manually operated turret previously installed on the Fox armored car. Its main gun is the 30mm L21 Raritan cannon. The FV-107 Scimitar with a 7800 kg combat weight has the same hull and turret as the Scorpion but is armed with the 30mm L21 Raritan cannon. The gun has a rapid single shot and 6 round burst of fire modes. The scimitar carries 165 30mm rounds. The FV-103 Spartan with 8172kg combat weight is the armored personnel carrier member of the family. Its three-person crew consists of the driver, vehicle commander gunner and section commander radio operator. The vehicle can also carry four soldiers. The Spartan has a 7.62mm machine gun which is mounted on the right side of the cupola and can be operated from inside. The anti-tank missile carrier variants of the CVRT were the F-102 Striker and F-120 Spartan MCT which were both retired. The first carried the swing fire missiles with a 4000 km range while the second used the Milan with a 2000 km range. The CVRT family also has the FV-104 Samaritan Ambulance, FV-105 Sultan Command and FV-106 Samson recovery variants. Besides, the modified Spartans and Scorpions were used in the opposing forces role at the British Army Training Unit subfield in Canada. They were renamed as Sturgeon and Salamander respectively. The CVRTs in the British service were constantly updated. Their petrol engines were replaced with more fuel-efficient 235 horsepower Cummins CBTA diesel engines. Their sights and observation equipment were modernized. They received more advanced and secure communication systems and network-centric warfare capability. For the operations in Afghanistan, the UK upgraded several scimitars to Mark II standard. The improvements included a new aluminum hull, which provided greater internal volume and mine blast protection. Besides, the vehicles received a new fuel system, an environmental control system and better suspension. The Scimitar Mark II also had RPG nets. Many countries have ordered Scorpions modified to meet their particular operational requirements. The Indonesian, Malaysian and Venezuelan Scorpion 90s have Perkins diesel engine. 
The Nigerian and Venezuelan vehicles are equipped with the OIP-5 and Avimo fire control systems, respectively. The Omani Scorpions have a central warning system, larger rubber mud flaps at the rear, larger rear hull stowage bins, thicker driver's mind plate and a fume extractor for the turret. Their Jaguar petrol engines were also replaced with Cummins diesel engines. In partnership with their UK consortium, the Jordanian KADDB, which is today's JODDB, developed a modernized variant of the Scorpion in 1999 under Project AB4. No users have selected this modernization package yet. The Iranian Tucson was developed based on the Scorpion. It has two versions, a light tank with a 90mm gun and a tank destroyer with a two fan anti-tank missiles. The British OVIK company also designed the Meerkat based on the CVRT. The FV4333 Stormer can be defined as the improved and enlarged variant of the CVRT family. Also, the Scorpion's turret was mounted on the AVGP Cougar wheeled reconnaissance vehicle alongside some M113s. The first operational mission of the Scorpions was to patrol Heathrow Airport in 1974 against a possible attack by the IRA. In the same year, the UK deployed them to Cyprus to protect the British sovereign base areas during the Turkish invasion. The CVRT was baptized with fire during the 1982 Falklands War when the UK sent four Scorpions and four scimitars supported by a Samson to the islands in the South Atlantic. They were the only British armored vehicles there and conducted many critical fire support missions. These vehicles engaged the Argentine AML 90s. Nevertheless, none of them managed to knock out each other. Some sources claim a scimitar shut down an Argentine Skyhawk attack aircraft with the 30mm Raritan gun. A mine damaged the Scorpion. Another one was out of the war due to transmission failure. The UK also used the CVRT during the 1991 Gulf War. During a deep reconnaissance mission, they encountered an Iraqi reinforced mechanized battalion. Supported by multiple rocket launchers and A-10 Thunderbolt II attack aircraft, the FV-102 strikers of the group destroyed several Iraqi T-55s during the engagement. Some sources claim, by its 30mm gun, a scimitar penetrated the frontal armor of an Iraqi T-62 and knocked it out. Yet, it sounds unlikely. Also, during the war, the T-55 scored a direct hit on another scimitar, but the British crew survived the attack. Later, the British vehicles participated in the operations in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Iraq and Afghanistan. The UK had planned to replace the CVRT family with the Ajax family. However, although Ajax was not going to reach full operating capability until at least 2028, it retired the scimitar in 2023. Belgium also used its CVRT vehicles on UN deployments in the Balkans and Somalia. The Iranian Scorpions fought in the Iran-Iraq war. During the battle around Elam, alongside the Cobra attack helicopters, they stopped the Iraqi 2nd Infantry Division's offensive. Yet, these vehicles could not resist the second attack conducted by the T-62 tanks of the Iraqi 92nd Armored Division. The Nigerian Scorpion 90s are still fighting in the war against Boko Haram. Ukraine uses the former British Scimitar, Spartan, Samaritan, Sultan and Samsons against the Russian invasion forces in the ongoing war. The open sources on the internet show that the Russians destroyed or damaged at least 7 vehicles and captured one. The CVRT family is now an old veteran with little combat value on the modern battlefield. Still. It was a brilliant initiative when created. For 50 years, the members of this family have served on five continents and have fought gallantly. The CVRT is undoubtedly a legend. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.